evening sky should be clear tonight here in Miami. It's the Braves and Marlins next. Couldn't ask for a better night for baseball than the one we've got here in Miami as MLB The Show welcomes you to another edition of Major League Baseball. Tonight it's game two of this three-game series as it'll be the Atlanta Braves taking on the Florida Marlins. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian. Happy to have you along for what looks like an entertaining matchup. I'm joined, as always, in the booth by my colleagues Dave Campbell and Eric Harris. And Dave, we'll begin with you. What looks most interesting about this matchup? Well, Matt, we got ourselves a marquee pitching matchup here, so we could be looking at a real duel here. I think the key is going to be getting a run or two on the board in the early going because they almost certainly will be hard to come by. All right, Dave, and we'll hear from E.K. shortly, but for now, it's time to check out the starting lineup for the visiting Atlanta Braves, and it's brought to us by State Farm. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. They'll match up against the man you see there, the hard-throwing right-hander Chris Volstad. And in the field, the Marlins will align themselves like this. Standing in is leadoff man Martin Prado as we're just about set to get this one underway. First pitch is taken for ball one as we're underway tonight in South Florida. First pitch, seven o'clock. And he looks at a changeup in there, one and one. Weather shouldn't be much of a factor. 71 degrees here at game time. On the ground down the first baseline. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Our umpire and crew tonight, Mike Marquez, handles the balls and strikes. Tennessee Wally Hughes over at first. The crew chief, Charlie Sawyers, at second. And rounding out the group, Doc Bryant over at third. Brian Ma will stand in, getting the start here despite being out of the lineup last night. Ball to start things out here. Not close. It's a ball and no strikes. That's not a bad spot to miss with a fastball. He'll do okay if he can keep it down there throughout. Swing and a miss as he ramps up on the fastball. One and one. Just rearing back and throwing the heater by him right there. Too high there and maybe a bit outside as well. Two and one. Uh -huh. 
Two one pitches, a fastball swung on and missed two and two. Sets the 2-2 pitch. Now he turns on one and rips it down the line. And past the diving infielder, that's a base hit. He's around first on his way to second now. And he is safe at second base as he legs out a double. Yeah, one out double here in the first tonight. And you always want to be able to give your pitcher a lead to work with on the road. So we'll see if they can get this guy home from second. Brian McCann will come forward now, back in the lineup after being used as a pinch hitter last night. And this one's hit on the ground, but foul. Hit hard to the right side. Foul. Foul. And a good curveball there, but he wouldn't bite. It's one and two. One out and a runner on second base. From the stretch. And that's taken outside for a ball, so he's worked it back to two and two now. Boy, and that never even threatened the strike zone. You have at least got to make him sweat a little. Ball three. Three and two now. From 0 oh and 2 to 3 and 2, he is really making him work out there. And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with only one away. And boy, this is a good show of patience at the plate and a good show of fortitude as well. Gets himself into a hole quickly as he falls behind 0-2. And, and then he says, I'm not going to get myself out. You're going to have to come get me. And sure enough, he's able to look at four straight and work out the free pass. Carlos Pena will stand in, and he wasn't alone in wearing the collar in last night's ball game, in which the team could muster all of one run. And he lays off here, but it's a cold strike one. And the one piece of good news here, this guy's a double play waiting to happen. Swung on and missed as they get ahead of Pena here. No balls and two strikes. And it looks like he's going to let his fastball be the one that gets him out of this jam. If 
you want to see a guy get blown away at the plate, this is just one finger down three times in a row. He was just overmatched there. Jason Hayward will stand in, back in the lineup after getting the night off yesterday. First offering on the way. And a swing and a bouncing ball back up the middle. And that'll get by into center field for a base hit. And the run is in to score to make this a 1-0 ball game. Well, he finds a pitch to his liking that time, and he gets him on the board early by driving in the game's first run. Dan Ugla will step in now. He drove in his club's only run a night ago. Swung on and missed its 0-1. Leading a lot of pitches out over the plate here in the first. It's already gotten him in trouble. Swing and a miss as Ugla falls behind here quickly, 0-2. Well, he created his own jam. Now he's trying to get out of it. And a big strike out there as they'll leave a couple of runners on base. And after a good start to the inning, they can't capitalize any further. Braves will settle for just the one. We'll move on to the bottom half of inning number one. It's the Braves one and the Marlins nothing. Now the starting lineup for the Marlins is put together by skipper Edwin Rodriguez. Looks like this. And there's a look at the starter this lineup will match up against as you take a look at his line on the right side of your screen. Now a quick look at how the Braves will align themselves behind him. Logan Morrison will step in now to lead things off in the home half of the first. And he gets ahead with the curveball, strike one. Yeah, he starts him out with a nice breaking ball there. That's all about putting a guy back on his heels to begin the at-bat. The 0-1 is a fastball low, and that evens the count at 1-1. One And he misses two and one. And now in the mound, you lose the advantage of strike one by missing with two straight. And he gives 
this a pretty good ride that time, but that's going to be up amongst the crowd of foul ball. And now a swing and a miss, and Morrison is retired for that number one. And you start to get to the point in the year where you say, look, this guy's pitched a lot of innings so far this year. Now, I wouldn't be surprised to see these guys back off his workload a bit here in this final month. Chris Coughlin will get his first opportunity here. Took an 0 for 4 in the victory last night. First pitch here is reached for and hit on the ground to third. Over to Pena, and that's out number two. Gabby Sanchez will stand in now. He homered in the ballgame last night. Here's the first offering. Swing and ooh, he saws him off with that one. But foul. foul and this is high, a ball and a strike. And this ball will be chopped foul. And this is fouled straight back. Two out, nobody on. Fastball, and it's strike three call. Well, that looked inside, but instead it's the third out of the inning. So nothing happening this time around. Second inning coming up here in South Florida. It's the Braves one and the Marlins nothing. Nate McClough leads things off now in the top half of the second. Just got a piece of it as it's fouled back. And now a pitch on the way. Pretty well hit deep down the line in right, but that's back into the seats foul. Foul tipped at the plate as that came right back off the mask of the catcher, Buck. And this is swung on and missed, though he will need to do a little housekeeping at first. And the throw will indeed take care of him for the first out. And this will cause any pitcher to have a panic attack when he sees it. A good pitch there for strike three, but then the ball gets away from the catcher momentarily before he gathers and throws it to first for the putout. And this will bring in a former World Series hero here in South Florida, Alex Gonzalez. Swing, hard hit ball to second, taken by Infante. Throw right there, and that takes care of Gonzalez. Two gone now. Yeah. 
Chris Medlin will be the batter. First pitch coming. And that misses inside 1-0. And he misses low with it, 2-0. And, oh. and with two outs, you got to throw strikes to the pitcher. <laughs> Fouled straight back. Fouled back. Bases are empty here with two men out. Here's the two and two offering. And he'll fight just to stay alive here as this is fouled away. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now, three and two. Uh, and the one thing you cannot afford to do is to extend this inning by walking the pitcher. And he fights this one off to stay alive. He'll try it again, three and two. And he's just going to make him throw as many pitches as he can as he fouls another one away, and it's still folded three and two. Here's a swing, and a ball hits softly on the line. And this is taken for the out. Braves are set down one, two, three. And after an inning and a half, it's one to nothing. Hanley Ramirez will start things off in the bottom of the second. First pitch coming. And he'll look at a first pitch curveball that's in the dirt. It's ball one. Fastball got him to swing through it. It's one and one. He might have thought he'd be getting another dose of that curveball because he was way behind that one. Now the 1-1. Now a swing and a hard hit ball back through the box. And the Marlins are into the hit column. There's their first base hit. And you see the numbers right there. This is a guy that will go in any situation. So he may be off and running here. Michael Stanton will stand in. And he was a big part of the win last night as he contributed three hits to his guy's effort. And 
Here's the first pitch. And that's inside for a ball, 1-0. On at first is Ramirez with nobody out. And a good swing there as this is deep down the line in right, but this is going to wind up out of play. And this will find the seats behind the first base dugout. Pause. Now the pitch. Now a ground ball towards the hole. And that's by him into right field for a base hit. And the runner will hold at second, so two on with nobody out. Mets back-to-back -back hits now to start things out in their half of the second. They're in good shape to get on the board here and tie up the ball game. Omar Infante will get his first cuts here. This is fouled straight back. Set up away with the changeup, but it's one and one. Oh, they have him looking awfully confused up there right now. It's one and two. And when you're in a key spot like this, you can't allow yourself to get tied up that badly. And that's going to be high two and two now. so it's a full count three and two and now on three and two maybe you start the runners but who knows there's always a danger that a line drive could be a triple play And he misses with it, ball four, so that'll load the bases, and now he's really going to need to get a ground ball. And I think he's trying to be a little too fine here. Maybe just a little too careful, which is understandable. But now you've made an already tough situation even worse by walking a guy. John Buck digs in now with a chance to at least tie the game, if not give his club the lead here in the early stages. <laughs> Hit hard down the right field line, but a foul ball. ready now the pitch and this misses the outside corner so it's knotted up at one and one and still nobody out here so you need to straighten out your location problems in a hurry Called strike two. And if you've got a strikeout pitch in your arsenal, now's the time to dig it out. Swing and a miss. 
this, and Buck is down on strikes for the first out. Oh, that is a great call right there. They really needed a strikeout in that spot, and they got it. And now with one away, you can even get out of this scot-free if you can get a ground ball here. Scott Cousins will stand in. A couple of hits in that ball game last night. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. Now, after the strikeout, he can still get out of this scot-free with a ground ball here. Comes set, now the pitch. No, that's it. And one and one as this one's in on the hands. And he's dodged one hurdle, but the bases are still loaded. You cannot let down now. Took something off of it there. It's one and two. Whether you like it or not, now that you've seen what the strike zone is going to be like, you're going to have to make an adjustment. And a fastball swung on and hit in the air to left. Prado is there. Let's see if they test it. And the run will score on the sacrifice fly as that'll square things at one to one. You want to talk about a guy putting his all into a throw? Watch this. Now that's what you call effort. Chris Volstad will step in now. is ball one. And this is where a catcher needs to say, do not even think about those runners on base. Just get this pitcher. <laughs> Fastball in there for a strike. 92 on the radar gun that time. Fastball swung on and hit to second. Throw on to Pena is in time to get him, and the inning is over. Marlins forced to settle for one. We'll go now to the top of the third. All tied at one and one. Martin Prado will step in. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Nowhere close with the fastball to begin the at-bat. It's ball one. And this winds up inside for a ball. 2-0 oh now.
And he lays off a pitch just below the knees. It's 3-0. and And the control looks to be a little off here to start the third. And he gets this fastball over back to 3-1 and one now. And if he could have made that pitch on 0-0 instead of 3-0, this would be a different story. Now the 3-1 pitch. And this is down at the knees, but called a strike. Wow, it's three and two now. And that's a coin toss strike there. That could go either way. Well hit, but also well foul into the seats and left. Payoff pitch one more time. Swing and a miss, and they'll come all the way back from 3-0 to punch him out. One away. If he could have been just a little more patient there, he would have had a leadoff walk. Instead, chases it out of the zone here and winds up costing him. Ryan Ma will stand in. He doubled and later scored his first time. Fastball, strike one. And a fastball here is swung on and lifted in the air to left. Cousins will drift over to his right a few steps as he takes it for the second out. Yeah, it took him a few batters to get it going in the first, but after that first inning run, he's come back to retire the next six in a row. Brian McCann will stand in. He drew base on balls his first time. out there to left center field and he's able to get there on the long run and he covered a lot of ground there as the side is retired down in order go the Braves after two and a half it remains a 1-1 ball game Logan Morrison makes his way to the plate to get us started here in the bottom of inning number three Not quite sure what was wrong with that one, but it's 1-0. Boy, the difference between starting out 0-1 or up 1-0 is huge in a hitter's eyes. He caught a break there. Changeup stays outside, and he's behind 2-0.
lays off, and it's 3-0. and And it goes without saying, but this has to be in the strike zone. You don't want him on base to start off the inning. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground to second. Uglow's throw is right there for the first out. Chris Coughlin will stand in. He grounded out his first time. And the pitch. And a cold strike down in the zone. Nothing in one. Boy, and good snap to that one as it tumbled right through the zone. Now the 0-1 is on the ground for Gonzalez at shortstop. Over to Pena, and that's out number two. Gabby Sanchez will dig in. 0 for 1 in the ballgame. And that swung on and missed for strike one. And he is just in complete control out there. And he takes this one high, one and one. One, one on the way. Now a swing and a high fly ball, and this one has some carry on it to deep right field. And Hayward will make the catch, and that ends the inning. One, two, three, go the Marlins. We played three full. We're tied at one. Carlos Pena will dig in. 0 for 1 here in this one. First pitch coming. Now here's the ball hit high and deep out to left center field. Coughlin is there, though, as he makes the catch out near that teal monster. Yeah, <laughs> doesn't look like much has changed here to start this inning either. That's eight in a row now he's set down. So one away in the inning, and that'll bring in the dangerous bat of Jason Hayward, the right fielder. And 
and this ball is going to find the seats down the left field line. Foul strike one. Pitch on the way. And they run one in on him there as this is pushed foul off to the left, and it's 0-2 now. And this is fouled back and out of play. And a little battle brewing here as he fights off the two-strike pitch and chops it foul. And that is swung on and missed. He's down on strikes. And the first two are retired here to begin inning number four. So with two gone here in the fourth, let's check out our pitch speed comparison for the two starters. And both of these guys working in pretty much the same realm. Just a one mile an hour differential from 94 down to 93 as the top speeds. Dan Ugla will step in. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Now here's the pitch. And this is off the corner and low, ball one. And now at the plate, you got to do something to get this guy out of the roll he's been on. Ball here that's taken for ball two. And this is all about handling a guy like this with kid gloves. You know, walk him if you have to, but don't let him be the one to beat you. Come on, Florida. That one's in there on the black two and one. That was a dangerous spot there for a good fastball hitter. Good thing he was taking. Called strike that time, and it's even a two and two. Now the 2-2 pitch. Grounded foul. That's foul. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. And he missed with this one up around the noggin. Now it's full. that stays straight but I think he just missed it as this is hit in the air to fairly deep center field and the catch made there by Coglin to retire the side Braves are set down 1-2-3 on to the bottom of the fourth tied 1-1 it's Tuesday night baseball on the show as you take a look at our National League scoreboard and here on the East Coast of course some of these games will be getting underway later on Henley Ramirez will be the batter. Oh. 
And boy, I don't know about this strike zone. That misses high, apparently, and it's 1-0. and oh. Boy, that looked pretty good. You hate to give a guy like that extra strikes to work with because he can make them hurt you. And he looks at a slider in there, one and one. And I would be wary about giving him another pitch there. Here's the one one. And this one's up around the eyes, two and one. And I know they don't want to flirt with another one up in the zone here. And Ramirez will just try and work his way aboard here. It's three and one. And this is where he's dangerous because if you walk him, he can steal on you. But if you lay a fastball in there, he can also take you deep. The 3-1 is on the way. And that misses for ball four. It's a leadoff walk that starts the bottom of the fourth. Now he's got to take a deep breath out there on the mound right now. I mean, not only will he kick himself for walking the leadoff guy, but also he just walked the fastest guy in the building. I mean, that's definitely not what he wanted to do out there. Michael Stanton will dig in. He singled his first time around. try and get him out in front to start the at-bat, but this misses off the plate away. It's ball one. Sometimes you just let a guy work his own way into trouble and then take advantage. Now the 1-0 pitch. Chop down the third base line. Foul, says the third base umpire. Leadoff man aboard here in a 1 1 ball game. And this one runs a little too far in, ball two. Got to credit their patience here in this inning. They're just letting him work himself into trouble. Lifted into the air out towards center field. And McLeod will look this one in for the first out. Omar Infante will dig in. Drew a walk his first time around. Fastball's too high here, 1-0. and oh. And they won't be afraid to work up in the zone against a guy like this. They want him to hit it in the air. Yeah. Called strike at the knees. Evens the count at 1-1. One and one.
And there goes Hanley for second. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw. And it's not going to be in time as Ramirez has himself a stolen base. Well, there was little doubt he was going to be on the move sooner or later. I mean, this guy is one of the best around, no doubt about it. And he's in the scoring position now with one away. Swing and a ball headed towards the hole. And now against his body, a jump throw. Throw in the dirt, but a nice pick over there by the lefty Pena to record the out. John Buck will dig in. 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Starts him out with a changeup off the plate for ball one. And an RBI here would be his 30th of the year. Swing and a miss looked like the slider there, a ball and a strike. And he was able to punch him out the first time, and he certainly could use another right here. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. Has a look, now the pitch. And he comes back with a pitch right down the middle for strike two. Mm, hard to believe he let that one go. I mean, that was right on a platter for him. Here's the ball well struck for the right field corner. And they're going to grab the lead here as this is down for extra bases. And that will score the run from second as they jump in front now, 2-1. to one. Oh, and it's over his head. Well, on the relay throw, you got to be quick. And I don't know that he made the transition smoothly because that was a poor throw. Scott Cousins steps in now. Ball to start things out. Didn't miss by a lot, but it's 1 0. And he drove in a run his first time through. He could possibly do it again right here. one -oh pitch now. Now it's 2 0. Oh. I'm pretty sure he's going to have a green light here, 2 0, oh, especially with a guy in scoring position. Misses as well, 3-0. and oh. And 
and this one catches the inside corner for strike one. And this is a guy you want because you'd love to have the pitcher leading off in the bottom of the fifth. He waits, now the pitch. Holds off on the slider, and that's a good idea as it's ball four. Now there are two ways you can go here as a pitching coach, so he's got to make a judgment call out there. He knows what buttons to press with each of his pitchers. You know, some guys you've got to reassure and be very positive with. You know, other guys, they respond better when you go out and challenge them. Really got to read him the riot act. Chris Volstad will stand in. He grounded out his first time. Now here's the first pitch. And a slider just about gets away from him there as it runs in a bit too close for comfort. And obviously this is not really a good spot for a pitcher here, but it's still too early to think about pinch hitting. Swing and a ball chop foul down the left side. One one pitch on the way. Good biting slider there, hit on the ground down to third. They go the short way to Ugla for the force out, and that'll end the inning. Marlins forced to settle for one. We played four full. Florida's out in front, two to one. Nate McClouth will make his way towards the box to lead off the fifth. Below the knees, one ball, no strikes. And here's a swing by McLeod and a bouncing ball out to second. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. And sometimes this is all you have to do. Throw a ton of strikes and keep the ball in the yard. It's worked for him so far. Alex Gonzalez will stand in. He grounded out his first time. Now here's the first pitch. And they start him out away with a cold strike. Boy, he's just sailing along now. And there's a swing and a miss that time by Gonzalez. Two strikes to him now. And he's in that mindset now where he can do just about anything he wants to. Here's a swing and a ball lifted out to straightaway central now for Coughlin. And that's out number two. And his string continues, make it an even dozen men he's set down in order now. Chris Medlin will stand in, a line-out victim his first time. And he'll look 
at a fastball that doesn't miss by a whole lot. It's 1-0. Here's the 1 0. In for a strike, it's 1 and 1. One run, two hits, and two errors thus far for the Braves in the ballgame. And this is lined softly to the left side, but foul. Tough pitch to lay off there, but he did, and it's even up at two and two. Now a fastball as he just reared up and let that one fly, and the inning is over. We'll see Logan Morrison start things off when we come back. Last half of the fifth coming up. It's the Marlins two and the Braves one. And there is Logan Morrison. He'll lead things off here in this one-run contest. First pitch on the way. And just lucky to make contact on that one as it's chopped foul. Swing and a little tapper out in front of the mound. Throw in the dirt, but a good job of staying with it that time as he's retired. Boy, a good curveball here. Just takes a sting right out of the bat, and all he can do is chop it on the ground. Chris Coglin will stride in, grounded out his last time through. Here's a fastball at the knees, and that location has paid off for him so far. It's 0-1. Well, you're absolutely right. I mean, in general, the more you can work in that lower half of the zone, the more success you're going to have. And there's ball one. Fastball not close. It's two and one now. And if you throw enough fastballs in succession, guys are going to time it. So be careful. Fifth inning, two to one our score. Ready with the two one. Boy, he just threw that fastball by him. Late swing and a ball line foul into the seats past the third base dugout. And he lays.
is off, so it's full now, three and two. And this one's hit on the ground, but foul. Well, 3 2, one more time. And he finally wins the battle as this is swung on and missed for the second out. And we'll check out the pitches by inning. And you can see he's up to an even 80 pitches now. So I'd imagine they'll start keeping a little closer tabs on him out there. Gabby Sanchez will dig in. 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. And now the lefty Eric O'Flaherty's up and throwing in the Braves bullpen. And here's a fastball called for strike one. And he misses with it, one and one. Pulled hard, but fouled off to the left. Two runs, three hits, and no errors in the game for the Marlins. Now a ball hit high in the air, deep down the line and left, hooking just a little, and that ball is gone as he tucks it over the wall down the left field line. Gabby Sanchez with the solo home run, number 13 for him on the year. As they extend the lead a bit, it's now 3-1. to one. Well, this is the second game of our series, and that's his second home run. These guys could certainly use a lift from him, and he's provided it to this point. Hanley Ramirez will take his cuts now. him on the inside Open. corner for strike one and now you got to snap back in a hurry you cannot dwell on that home run ball fastball that time is nowhere close and it's even at one and one yeah almost the same pitch but this one was a few more inches inside so he doesn't get that call the pitch and this is swung on and bounced to shortstop up with it is Gonzalez throw on to Pena at first and the inning is over Marlins get one on the Gabby Sanchez long ball through five innings it's now three to one Florida Martin Prado will step in to get things started for the Braves in their half of the sixth and it's 1-0. And now you've got the top of the lineup due here to start the six. 
This is where you really need to make some inroads against this guy. Swing and a hard hit ball towards the hole. There's Sanchez. And the throw is dropped at first. And the throw sinks on him here as he can't quite dig it out at the bag. Well, this game can certainly humble you at times. I mean, he makes an A-plus play just to get a glove on the ball, but that throw completely misses its mark. So for all his efforts, he'll wind up getting hit with an air. Unfair. Brian Ma will stand in. He flew out his last time up. Here's the ball hit pretty well and carrying to deep right. Therefore, it is Stanton, and he's got it for the first out. Yeah, it looked like this might be much more off the bat, but this ballpark has really played large tonight. And, you know, we've seen a few balls right now really get knocked down out there. So a runner at first now with one away, and that'll bring in the all-star catcher, Brian McCann. Here's the first offering. And this is ripped down the first baseline. A dive, but it's by him for a base hit. Around third and being waved on home. And not in time as the run scores. You want to talk about being on top of your game. That's the first base runner he's allowed since way back in the very first inning. He might not even remember how to work out of the stretch. Runner at second, one away, and that'll bring up the resurgent first baseman, Carlos Pena. Starts him out with a changeup for a strike. And this game would be tied with just a single, so that needs to be your focus at the plate. Sets the target low here, and it misses one and one. Runner at second here with one man out. Swing and a miss as he ran that in on him. A ball and two strikes. Well, if he's ahead of that fastball, what does that tell you as a pitcher? Throw the changeup, and he'll be even more out in front. He's ready. Now the pitch. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. And you know he really doesn't have to throw that changeup all that much for it to be an effective pitch. And you can see what his breakdown is so far. Jason Hayward will step in. One for two in the ballgame. There's 
swing by Hayward as he mashes this ball out to deep right field. Stanton is back for a look, but this will sail over the wall for a home run. A two-run blast to straightaway right field, number 43 on the year for him as they take the lead 4-3. to three. And you know, the only way you're going to tie this guy up on the inner half is if you go up and in. And if you leave it belt high, he can handle that pitch, and he handled that one all right. Dan Ugla will stand in. He flew out his last time up. Ball swung on and hit on the ground at third. And a sliding try there at third, but it skips by him a base hit. As we forge through this final month of the season, he's making a real push to end the year over 300. And he's got a solid base hit here. Nate McLeod will step in now. 0 for 2 to this point. First pitch and a ball one and oh. And the accuracy he had earlier with the curveball just isn't there right now. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. Goes the other way as this is down the line at third. And a close play at the bag, but a good stretch by the first baseman got the out and the inning is over. But they strike for three in the inning. Two on this two-run home run. Bottom of the sixth coming up. 4-3 Atlanta. Michael Stanton will dig in, one for two thus far. Oh, and he gets the fastball on the first pitch and shoots it into center field for a leadoff single. After giving up the lead in the last half inning, this is the way you want to start things off as he's on base to kick off this inning. Out of the Braves' dugout is their manager, Freddy Gonzalez, on his way to the mound. And he's going to motion for his bullpen here. That'll do it for the starter tonight. So he'll depart with the lead and a chance to be the winner, but he is responsible for the tying run at first. Eric O'Flaherty will get the assignment on the mound here as he'll enter with the runner at first and nobody out. Omar Infante will step in, a ground out victim his last time. Runner's going, and he'll just fight this one off as it's chopped foul. A 
look over to Stanton and now the pitch. And he watches one dip low and inside for a ball one and one. And he'll look at a fastball here that's close, but it's two and one now. Now a hard hit ball back up the middle to Ugla for one. On to first, a double play. And this is just a question of staying in front of the ball at short. This thing gets on him pretty quickly, but he stays down and plays it on one hop, then shuffles it to second to start a nifty 6-4-3. John Buck will dig in now. One for two to this point. a slider that's nowhere close and it's 1 and 0. Hits are even right now at 5 aside. Up around the letters with that one for ball two. Here's the 2 0 pitch. Grounded foul. That's a foul ball. in front of the fastball here as this is drilled into left field that's a base hit and now he has some trouble with it in left how hard did he hit this baseball let's turn the radar gun around and put it on this line drive going out Oof. 102 folks it's tough to hit a baseball harder than that Scott Cousins will dig in hit a sacrifice fly earlier First pitch. Now a slider is hit on the ground towards second. Rowan de Pena is in time to get him, and the inning is over. So it's no runs on two base hits, no errors, and one man left on. We're through six full. It's the Braves four and the Marlins three. And since we've already seen what's going on in the National League, let's check out the AL action now on our out-of-town scoreboard. Out to home plate with the lineup card in hand is Marlon skipper Edwin Rodriguez, so it would appear we're going to see a double switch here. Burke Badenhop is on to pitch now as he'll take over to start inning number seven. Alex Gonzalez will stand in. He flew out his last time up.
Fouled straight back. And he gets a piece of it here, but it's chopped foul. Fouled straight back. Just did get a piece of that one, so he stays alive here. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. And this is a guy that can run into one every now and then, so he can't be taken lightly, especially in only a one-run game. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first down. And there you see, the three of us have taken our talents to South Beach. In the final year of baseball here at Sun Life Stadium, Matt Vaskersian, Dave Campbell, Eric Karros here with the call from South Florida. And now it looks like we'll have a pinch hitter here as Melky Cabrera has grabbed a bat and begun to loosen in the on-deck circle. Marlins have some action in the bullpen now as a right-hander is up and throwing. And a fastball just misses for ball one. Boy, and any time you can turn to a guy with double-digit home runs on your bench, now that's a luxury to have. And here's a case where you can just sit on fastball. If you don't get one, just take it. pitch in the dirt and he's in danger of losing him here three and oh now and this is a guy that will be happy to take a walk so I think you really need to challenge him a little more on the mound here, now the three oh pitch and he gets the call there, three and one. <laughs> you can bet he wishes he didn't have the take sign that time. And a good fastball here as he pops him up back behind second base. Waiting for it now is Ramirez. And there's the second out of the inning. Good start to the inning here out of the bullpen. After three runs came in to score last inning, they needed someone to come in here and slow that offense down a bit. Martin Prado will try again. 0 for 3 thus far. First pitch fastball runs a bit too high. It's ball one. Yeah. 
The next pitch. Fouled back. Hit hard on the ground to short. There to take it is Ramirez. And the throw to first just about takes him out as it skips up and over him. And in a tight game like this, you're looking for any break you can get. And that error could wind up being their biggest break yet. Brian Ma will get another crack one for three thus far. on the outside corner for strike one. Uh, he knows he should be out of the inning already, but you know he's got to pick up his defender behind him and get out of this. Two out with the man at first. Ball one. one pitch. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. Oh, and a good job there of anticipating that pitch in the dirt. Too high that time, and it's three and one. And boy, you sure don't want to extend this inning any further, so the next one really needs to be a strike. Now the pitch. And the fastball here is hit on the ground, but foul. And he just manages to stay alive here as he fights this one foul. And a fastball swung on and missed, and the side is retired. So after the three spot last time around, he's able to bounce back and hang a zero here. Time to get up and stretch here in Miami. It's the Braves four and the Marlins three. Scott Downs will get the ball now as he'll take over on the mound to start the home seventh. John Baker will step in now to lead off the home half of the seventh. Go, John. Now the fastball here is swung on and grounded foul. Off the plate and in, it's a ball and a strike. Yeah, you're always looking to keep guys honest with fastballs on the inside part of the plate. Fastball not close, and he runs it to two balls and a strike. Now a ball fouled down the right field line out of play, so that'll move the count to two and two now. The two-two coming. And that's swung on and fouled straight back.
And he takes ball three, so it's a full count now. And it's pretty clear they've decided to work him up in the zone here as they've gone up with the last three pitches. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground towards second. Oh, got him, and that's a gorgeous play. Logan Morrison will stand in, and they've done a good job keeping him off base at the top of the lineup. He's 0 for 3 thus far. Here's the first pitch to him. And he takes a good swing at that one as this is sent down the line in right, but ultimately into the crowd of foul ball. And this is swung on and sent on the ground to first. And Pena will take it over to the bag to record the out. Chris Coglin will try again. Struck out swinging his last time through. Low for ball one. And he's not going to swing at borderline pitches. He knows what his assignment is. Two out, nobody on. And here's his fastball for a cold strike one, and he's hitting an even 90 on the gun. off upstairs but it's ruled a strike and he can't believe it one and two might have had a gripe there that looked to be off the corner and this one's hit on the ground but foul is in the dirt as it swung on and missed but this should be a pretty straightforward play to first and the throw to first will indeed get him it's a strikeout score at two to three and the inning is over we'll look ahead to inning number eight now the Braves on top four to three Brian McCann will be the batter Now a ball hit high down the left field line, but back in amongst the spectators, foul. Now a bullet back up the middle and into center field, a base hit. So early trouble here to start the eighth inning. Lead off single here to start their half of the eighth. In a one-run ball game, you'd know they'd love to get some insurance here. Carlos Pena will dig in. Strikeout victim is last time. And a 
fastball misses here to start the at bat. It's 1 and 0. Oh. One zero on the way. Ball two. Slider misses away, and he's behind three and zero. And with a big power hitter like this at the plate, you better not just lay one in on 3 and 0. Taking all the way that time, it's 3 and 1. Both teams with six hits so far. Full count now, three and two. And now, even on three and two, there's no guarantee he's going to get another fastball here. again so get your hats out that's the third strikeout of the game time to give you a look now at the numbers for our two starting pitchers and really nothing to write home about on either line as neither guy was able to last even six innings Jason Hayward will stand in again as we flash you back to the middle innings here. This was a big blow, a two-run home run that really got his guys going. And that misses for ball one. And this is about the only guy to do any real damage. Three of their four RBIs. Runners on first with one down. The 1-0 pitch. And he falls behind now, 2-0. Marquez really making it tough out there. It's 3 and 0. Wow. How do you lay off that one? Now there's a swing by Hayward as he mashes this ball out to deep right field. Stanton is back for a look, but this will sail over the wall for a home run. A two-run blast to straightaway right field, his second of the game, and it's now 6-3. to three. Well, I can imagine he wishes he had this pitch back. Show track tells a story. It's a 3-0 pitch, and it is right down the middle. And that... That is big trouble. Clay Hensley will get the call here as he'll take over with one gun in the top of the eighth.
Dan Ugla will stride in. He singled in his last plate appearance. First pitch coming. And they start him with one high and away for ball one. And how tough is it to come in right out of the pen and have to face this guy? Change up low, 2 and 0. Oh. Having a hard time finding the strike zone here to start the eighth. Bases are empty, one man out. And that's just off the outside corner and low ball three. Maddie's come right out of the pen throwing nothing but balls. He better settle down quickly. Three zero pitch. And they'll just make him throw one over here. Three and one. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. And that may have taken every ounce of his strength not to swing at this pitch, but he's aboard with a walk regardless. So a runner at first now with one away and digging in the left-handed hitter, Nate McClough. And now the Marlins bullpen will swing into action as a lefty and a right-hander start to get loose. First pitch to him. Fouled back. Grounded foul. That's a foul. Runner at first here, one man out. And this is on the ground to third. Infante for one. And the throw is high, but they just do get him by a step as that'll end the inning. The two in the inning for Atlanta, both coming on this two-run home run. We'll go to the bottom of the eighth. It's the Braves six and the Marlins three. Gabby Sanchez will lead things off here in the bottom half of inning number eight. hard to center field. McLeod is right there, one down. Making a bid for a leadoff single here, but this ball's hit a little too hard if that's possible, and this finds the outfielder's glove. Henley Ramirez 
will dig in one for two to this point in the ball game. And he gets a piece of this one to foul it toward the backstop. Just off the plate and high, ball one. And remember, he extended that hitting streak of his already, so he doesn't have that weight hanging over his head. One out, nobody on. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. Fastball there. This is hit high and deep out to straightaway center field. And McClough will make the play, and there are two gone now. This is where your setup man works as the perfect bridge to your closer. He's retired five in a row now since coming in in the seventh. Michael Stanton will dig in, looking for hit number three in the ballgame. off there 1 and 0. And here in the 8th at least you're given the luxury of facing this guy with nobody on. <laughs> 1 0 is a curveball that's over for strike 1. Two. And he is certainly justifying the manager's faith to leave him in there in the eighth. He's really shutting him down so far. And this is fouled straight back. And a fastball. Mm, tough take there, but it's even back at two and two. And even when you're protecting with two strikes, that's a fairly easy location to lay off. Two two pitch on the way. And this ball is also hit foul and heading for the seat, so we'll have to do it again. Still two and two. Just does stay alive as this is foul back. And now this ball's lifted in the air down the right field line, but this will get back into the seats, so the count holds at two and two. And a half-hearted swing there as they tie him up inside for the third strike, and the inning is over. 
Florida down in order. Can't cut into that 6-3 deficit. Alex Gonzalez will get us started as they look for a little insurance here in the top of the ninth. Ninth inning underway as the first pitch misses for bowl one. Now Gonzalez awaits the 1-0. Oh. And it's a called strike to even the count at one. Boy, almost an identical pitch as the last one, but this time he gets the call. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. The 2 1. Swing and a ball pretty well hit out towards left center. And a great start to the ninth as this ought to be extra bases. And he will pull into second with a leadoff double. Well, obviously, you can never have too big a lead heading into the bottom of the ninth. So, with a runner at second now, they'll try and tack on at least one more. Ben Hulse will come off the bench now as he'll pinch hit with the runner at second and nobody out. First pitch coming. And a good fastball that time from Hensley as he jumps ahead, nothing and one. And with a leadoff hitter aboard at second after the double, he's at least got to be thinking right side if he doesn't put one down. I had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. Late decision to offer at the changeup as this is bounced to third. Throws in time, and that's out number one. Martin Prado will try and erase his 0 for, 0 for 4 in the ballgame. Strike at the knees, 0-1. The infielders will all come in here as they don't want that runner breaking. A man at third with one away. Now a fastball off the plate away, a ball and a strike.
Now the one and one pitch. Called strike in a dangerous location there, one and two. Let's see if they try to make him go outside the strike zone here. Marquez will give you that pitch at the knees. There are two gone. The State Farm will give us a definitive look here. This is in show motion. We already know he didn't like the call. And yeah, I, I think he's got a case. But I tell you, when it's that close, you don't want to leave it in the umpire's hands with two strikes. Brian Ma will step in. One for four in the ballgame. Balls in there for strike one. Not in front of the fastball, but this is skied into straightaway right. Stanton is there, and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. So no runs on a hit here, no errors, one man left on. Sixth, seventh, and eighth place hitters scheduled to start the bottom of inning number nine. It's the Braves six and the Marlins three. J.J. Putz is on now to try to close things down here in the ninth. Omar Infante will stand in 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. And a slider tails outside for ball one. And remember, the pitcher spot is hitting seventh now, so he comes next. pitch is right there but ruled a ball 2 and 0. Oh. Well, here's where that old phrase a walk is as good as a hit really applies. Just get on somehow. And a good eye that time to lay off the fastball. It's 3-0. and oh. And down by three, I'd have him taking all the way. Taking all the way, and it's three and one now. Three one on the way. 
swing and a ground ball to short for Gonzalez. Throw to first is in plenty of time as Putz sets down the first man to face him here in the ninth. Well, this is how you want to close things out. He comes in to start the ninth and immediately gets a ground ball out. Ronnie Belliard will move into the on-deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. Here's the first offering. And this one's nowhere close as Ed bounces to the plate for ball one. And here's a spot off the bench where all you want to do is just to try to get something started. Good heater as he just watches this baby a ball and a strike. Just to get it in fastball, but he'll get burned if he keeps leaving him there. One and two now as that's in there at the knees. Now here's the pitch. Swing and a ground ball towards the hole. And he'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. Two up and two down in the ninth so far. This one looks just about to be in the bag. Scott Cousins will stand in as their last chance now. off 1 and 0. Oh. And if he in fact can finish this off, he would earn save number 40 on the year. And this is fouled back and out of play. Taken called strike two, and now they're down to their final strike tonight. Looking to wrap this one up, lock, stock, and barrel. And this is heading out toward left field, but this is going to get fouled up into the crowd. Ball, but that's easy to lay off and it's back to even at two and two and even with two strikes that's not a tough pitch to lay off there now a ball sprayed fouled into the seats near third Bases are empty here with two men out. And the 
this one missed down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. Swung on and hit to center field, and this should do it. And he will put this one away, and the Braves have ended their five-game losing streak as the ball game is over. And a scoreless inning of work here for J.J. Putz as he's able to slam the door here in the night. Braves tonight were led offensively by the exploits of this man, Jason Hayward. Don't put that card in your bicycle spokes. He's our top player of the game. Yeah, a couple of home runs in the ball game is pretty special. You can tell he was really dialed in up there. He had a whale of a game. That'll just about wrap things up. For Dave Campbell and Eric Harris, I'm Matt Vaskersian saying thanks for joining us here this evening. This has been a presentation of MLB 11, the show. For more, get out your smartphones and click on over to theshownation.com. The Braves are winners here, 6-3. to three. A postgame highlight package is next, so until next time, good night from South Florida.